course, Iodum's gonna not agree with us. Like, what are you... Uh, what, are you going back, Isaac? Did you... Do you need to get something you left behind? Yes. I see. In that case, I shall wait for you here... I shall wait here for your return. I want to be able to do this in like one turn, but I don't think it's possible. Oh, maybe it is possible. There you go. Gondolin Cave. What is... oh. I shouldn't waste my time. Pretty sure I gotta go left. Terra Strike! I don't want to skip out... skimp out on the uh, experience points either, because I'm going to an optional dungeon before the other optional dungeon, which is uh, Crossbow Nile. All right, let's lift this. Ah, oh, that's not gonna work. Might kill the beast, but I'm not gonna kill the bee. Ooh. Free fight rush? Whoa, whoa! That took a long time for it to come out. Uh, Ivan's the fastest. Ivan's a good next. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Heal up real quick. We'll hop over here. Got a lucky medal. Keep hopping over here. Ooh, uh, okay, let's see. If I do these, let's see if uh, we'll kill them in one round. And yes. Ooh, an apple. Who needs attack power? Let's... Ooh, Garrett? Mmm... If I want to min-max, then I should probably pick, like, Isaac or Garrett. Mmm... But... Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big difference. Let's go ahead and use Isaac. So what I did, because I had a lot of time in my hands as a kid, uh, what I did was I I had a file of the first Golden Sun, I think I still have it, uh, where I stockpiled all those stat raising items. And then in Golden Sun 2, you carry over your data, uh, but there's also like an easy mode where you carry over Golden Sun 2 data to a new Golden Sun 2 file. It's basically like a new game plus. Uh, it's referred to as easy mode, but it's basically new game plus. You have like all of your items. No. You're leveled up. You keep all your stats. It's, yeah, you move your character stats over to a new file. And so what I did was I play, replayed Golden Sun 2 a bunch of times. And I had those stat items, so every time I got my party reunited, um, I'd use all those stat items up. And so I like max out the stats for, I think maybe Isaac and Jenna, just the two of them. If that makes sense, what I'm what I'm saying. Basically, I'd have all my stats from uh, Golden Sun 2, and then I'd get the Golden Sun 1 uh, uh, boosters again, and just keep reapplying them each time I replayed the game. 
It was really easy mode for sure. I should, oh, wait, wait, wait. These are original area monsters. They're all going to die in one hit. Do I need to come back here for anything? Did I already do this? See, this is the problem with playing the game so long ago is I don't remember what I've done. I sure hope I already uh, went through this other area. Let's go check the bell. I think that should clue us in. I have not done this yet. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't do this uh, when I got to the ship. Uh, usually that's what I do. Before I go on the ship, I do this stuff. Reveal, secret doorway. And here we are in Vault Cave. This is going to be a mimic. I think a lot of the first treasure chests in a uh, dungeon are mimics. I don't know why. If that's just coincidence, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm just imagining it being always like the first treasure chest. But it feels like it's always the first treasure chest. I'm just gonna attack because he's not strong enough to beat me. And enough regular attacks will definitely defeat him. So I guess that's a, that's a problem with a lot of... Uh, of these uh, team RPGs, party member RPGs, whatever, um, is it's really hard to get a balance because of experience points and all that kind of stuff. It's really hard to have a balanced game. Like, so many battles feel meaningless because they're so easy. And then when you finally come across the hard one, it almost seems like there's nothing you can do about it but have better stats, which means you have to grind. Where if the game didn't have such a heavy focus on stats, then it could focus more on like having good strategy. And definitely every uh, uh, JRPG has like a different balance of that, whether it's really easy to get around leveling up or not. But uh, leveling up is definitely always an option to get around difficulty. So that's kind of a critique of the genre in, in general. This is the uh, Van Brace? Ooh. What did I take off of that? The Dragon Shield? Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Guess I'm using this. Gonna have to freeze some of these. Ooh, that's gonna take a little while. Make it like a minute. So back on the JRPG balance, if there's ever like optional dungeons like what I'm doing right now, how do you balance those out? Because like as soon as as soon as you get to it, you're either it's either just balanced right for when you first can go to it, or it's meant for you to come back to later. Um, like um, playing through Final Fantasy X right now as well, and I'm at the end game state where there's a couple of uh, optional dungeons. One of them I could have gone to earlier, and it just would have been really, really hard. But uh, waiting to come to it at the end of the game means uh, I don't have to worry about that so much. Also, the optional bosses in that game, the Dark Aeons, 
as soon as you can start fighting them, they're all like near impossible to defeat. But there's a whole leveling up thing you can do at the arena. And once you do that, then most of them are super easy. Like, there's just no balance to it. It doesn't require strategy. It just requires grinding out uh, improvements on your characters, leveling up, you know? Okay, this one is going to have some water drops. I just got to be careful. Let me get move on standby. I'm going to try to uh, do this quickly. There we go. Move this out of the way. There we go. Avoiding a problem there. So I have to go around the whole side. Where is this one dropping? Right there. I can move this one out of the way first. Alright. As soon as this one drops, move. Oh, okay. Made it. Just gotta make sure the fire doesn't go out. There's like no animation on that door either. I don't know why uh, they just forget about it. It's like the only door that. The doors in this dungeon, I should say, are like the only ones that don't have like animations on them. It's weird. So, an interesting thing Final Fantasy X does, um, the weapons in that game do not have stats on them. At least not all of them. Uh, some of them do give like a percentage boost to stats, to specific stats. But for the most part, uh, they just have like abilities or perks on them, like poison resistance or something like that. Um, all of your stat boosts come from leveling up, which... I mean, leveling up is a little different in Final Fantasy X because uh, when you level up, it just gives you a point to move on the sphere grid. And, I mean, it is like leveling up in that sense because you get experience points. And then it results in the stat boost. Um, and it kind of has the illusion of choice where, oh, it's the sphere grid you can choose, you know, which way you go. Really, there is a path for the character that is optimal, so there's really not a choice to it. Um, and I say that because um, when you get to the end game, it's also very much not a choice because everyone needs to max out the sphere grid. And it's a shared sphere grid. So um, there are empty nodes where you can fill in a specific stat booster type that you want. But if one person fills it in, then it's the same for everybody. So really, everyone's going to have maxed out stats at the end. Uh, what am I doing? Can I just uh, retreat from this? Is it going to take me back to uh, the entrance I took? Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, so there's, I guess that's the Earth Gin I was uh, thinking about. The one that I was, I was supposedly missing. So, uh, it's been an hour now. I think I'm going to save up here. And we will do uh, the Loompa dungeon uh, when we get back. Here is how you break in. All right, so we're in Lupa. There's a uh, optional dungeon here that we're gonna go ahead and do next time. So get subscribed, turn on notifications if you wanna know when that video drops uh, as soon as possible. Oh, whoops. I usually have that on reveal. Whoop. Wait, whoop. oh, there we go. Push the wrong button. Oh, it's just a synergy stick. Um, that means nothing to me. Oh, there is some stuff we can do first. Let's go ahead and do this. I know we're already over now. I should probably just stop, but let's get this treasure real quick.
Man, I should also check out the weapon shop because they've probably got new stuff there. Ooh, jackpot. Oh, smoke bomb. Lucky metal. That's nothing special. 44 coins. That's lame. An elixir. That does nothing. Okay, water of life. That's something. And add a... Wow, never mind. This... This treasure stash has been forgotten for a reason, because there's nothing important up here. Just drop down here. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, save here. I haven't saved this whole time. That is dangerous. Okay, cool, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.